During this time of year in the colder months, lots of businesses find things moving slower than normal, and that includes animal shelters. But this year, intake of new animals has not slowed down for a variety of reasons. Amel Elhel reports. When the pandemic first hit two years ago, animal shelters saw an influx of fosters and adoptions. But now that we've adapted to living in a pandemic, shelters aren't seeing the same enthusiasm they did two years ago. Meet Lily. Lily has been at Lollipop Farm for eight months now. She's one of 13 dogs who are considered long stays, meaning they've been at the shelter for a prolonged period of time. This is, it creates a little bit of a bottleneck here at the shelter. Um, when a pet is here for a long time, um, they're obviously taking up kennel space, but also um, they need a little bit more enrichment. They need help from the staff, uh, and that creates, you know, a little bit of, you know, a stop for the pets that need to come in and find that second chance as well. Lollipop is always looking for families to adopt and foster animals, but right now it's especially important. Right now looking for adopters who are willing to open their hearts and homes and give, the, give a long stay pet that second chance that they're looking for. And over at Animal Services for the City of Rochester, they are looking to implement a new type of resource to help keep shelter capacity numbers low and get lost pets back to their owners. We're looking for community members who want to help out with, you know, getting lost pets home. So if someone finds a, um, a, a dog in their, in their neighborhood, um, you know, trying to knock on doors, um, put up flyers, assuming that the, the animal's friendly, and healthy, um, they are generally can be found and returned to owners without ever having to step foot in a shelter. Right now, the city shelter has a total of 20 cats and 46 dogs. They haven't reached capacity yet, but Fitzgerald says the high intake is uncommon for this time of year. Uh, the pace of adoptions and, um, and foster recruitment of, of homes to foster animals has really slowed. So that's resulted in uh, animals staying here longer, which then ends up sort of stressing us out in terms of capacity. Whether you're looking for a permanent furry friend or maybe just want to help out a local shelter by providing a temporary home for the time being, Fitzgerald says the time to do it is now. Reporting, Amal Al-Hul, News 8.